Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me on this Friday. As you know, on Fridays, uh, we try to wrap up what's been going on during the week. Rarely do I stop to think of what the week is going to be like when I'm in the middle of it until I get to Friday and I see how things have all tied together. Exceptions to those, of course, would be times like Holy Week or if I'm doing a, a book reading throughout the week. That didn't happen this week, and yet everything seems to have led us to this point. And as I shared with you before, I am reading a book, uh, My Grandmother's Hands. I'm still not very far in, into it. I haven't had much reading time. It's by Resma Menachem, uh, who is a therapist. And um, I want to share a couple of paragraphs from that this book with you today, because it really does tie together how we've been talking about uh, believing and seeing and then how our faith grows greater the older we get and how things happen right on time and how we apply the lessons that we've learned. He is writing here about pain. He says, as every therapist will tell you, healing involves discomfort, but so does refusing to heal. And over time, refusing to heal is always more painful. In my therapy office, I tell clients there are two kinds of pain, clean pain and dirty pain. Clean pain is pain that mends and can build your capacity for growth. It's the pain you experience when you know exactly what you need to say or do, when you really, really don't want to say or do it, and when you do it anyway. It's also the pain you experience when you have no idea what to do, when you're scared or worried about what might happen, and when you step forward into the unknown anyway with honesty and vulnerability. Experiencing clean pain enables us to engage our integrity and tap into our body's inherent resilience and coherence in a way that dirty pain does not. Clean pain hurts like hell, he says, but it enables our bodies to grow through our difficulties, to develop nuanced skills and mend our trauma. All of this can happen both personally and collectively. Dirty pain is the pain of avoidance, blame, and denial. When people respond from their mo most wounded parts, become cruel or violent, or physically or emotionally run away, they experience dirty pain. They also create more of it for themselves and others. We all experience pain. It's part of life, part of the human condition. The question is, what do we do with it? Clean pain, dirty pain. The clean pain is life-giving. Hard as hell, he says. Hurts like hell. But the outcome is life-giving. Dirty pain, anger, denial, lashing out, is life-denying. Clean pain builds up. Dirty pain tears down. So we have to get through this. It's up to us which way we will choose to respond. How will we apply those lessons we've learned? And we can choose clean pain. We can choose to do it right even when we're scared, we don't know the outcome, when everything is a mystery, and we choose to step out in faith. Going back to seeing is believing. We choose to step out in faith in such a way that we demonstrate our integrity. We live what we say we believe. Now, it's a Friday, so you know I'm going to say this is your opportunity to support this ministry, this prayerful pause ministry, with your prayers, with your donations. But it's also a Friday in real time, which means that over the next few days, I invite you to be thinking about how you respond to pain. 
Is there something that's hurting you right now? Has someone or something brought pain into your life? And if so, how are you going to respond to it so that it becomes something healing, like clean pain, or so that it becomes more destructive, like dirty pain? Because that's on you. And that's where things being right on time and being believing that later is greater and that our relationship with God changes over time. That's where that all comes into play. So I hope you have a good weekend. Thank you for joining me for this prayerful pause with the pastor. I'm Pastor Deb Swift of South and Around Quite Presbyterian Churches in Rochester, New York. And until next time, I'm sorry if you are in pain. Know that we all are. But what a wonderful opportunity to be able to choose how to respond to that pain, how to grow through that pain. And hopefully have it be something that brings new life and builds up rather than something that tears down. God bless, take care, and... Bye for now.